Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Uh, today we have a very interesting word problem here that's age-related. In solving this age-related problem, a common mistake students make is that they don't take into consideration of the time. So it's five years ago and then five years later. Okay, so the best way to avoid any mistake dealing with this type of problem is starting with a table. Okay, we have a Tom's age here, we have a father's age. Okay, so let's starting our variable here. Their age now, let's say T for Tom's age, and then let's call father's age as dad. Okay, five years ago, you have to do minus five, so it's a T minus five. Dad is also T mi a D minus five. Five years from now, it's plus five. Okay, so it's t plus 5 and d plus 5. Okay, once you get those ones set, the word problem become relatively easy to solve. Let's read through. Five years ago, so how old was Tom? Tom was not t, but t minus 5. Okay, was means equals to one third as old as his father. Well, dad back then is d minus 5. This minus 5, so you're writing this equation in terms of 5 years ago. Okay, So the first equation we have is t minus 5 equal to 1 third of d minus 5. d is the father's age. Okay, let's read again. In 5 years, then Tom, it's no longer a t, but rather t plus 5, because it's in 5 years, will be means equal half as old as his father. Well, his father in five years is d plus five. Okay, so the trick is have the table have you sort through the information. t plus five is equal to half of d plus five. Okay, from there, it's pretty much downhill. Two equations, two variables, very easy to solve. So one thing we can do is we can subtract this equation Okay, let's rewrite this one back here. So we have t minus 5 is equal to 1 third d minus 5. Okay, let's subtract this one, subtract this one. I would have 10. Okay, I'm subtracting the, the reason I'm subtracting, I'm canceling the t out, basically. T, uh, 10 is equal to half d minus uh, third d. Let's write it out, half d minus third d, okay, plus 5 over 2 minus minus again 5 over 3. Okay, let's clean it up from here. So 10 is equal to, this is 1 6 d. This is a plus. Now here, as you have minus minus, you're going to combine them into a plus. Okay, so this one happens to be a 30. Now let's make sure. It's a 15 plus 10, so it's 25 actually. 25 over 6. This is not clear. Pause the video and make sure you can get this number. All right, I'm going to multiply by 6 on both sides because I don't like fractions. So I have 60 equal to d plus 25. That gives you d is equal to 35. Okay, That's the father's age. If d equal to 35, it's substituting back in there. You can see t minus 5. It doesn't matter which one you substitute, so long you pick one. So t minus 5 equal to 1 third. 35 minus 5, that's a 30, divided by 3, that's 10, so t is equal to 15 years old. Okay, that's their current age. So father is 35 and Tom is 15 years old. All right, hope this helped. Have a confident day.